Welcome to the Average Rook, and welcome to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. This is going to be a first for me because I have never actually played the original Battle for Bikini Bottom on the PS2. I wanted to, but I was only able to play the PC version, which was nothing like the PS2 version, and the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game which I thought was kind of like this. I saw like a bit of a comparison in terms of sounds and abilities, but that's about it. Enough of that, let us start the new game. And let's see what it's like. This will be a new thing for me. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Interesting. Today, the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> there seems to be something wrong with the VC. Uh, the brand voice new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Why is that blurry? I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! This is a different... Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vidishnazer, but Holy I Holy crap, it. that is a mouthful. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Okay. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Right button, okay. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. That's not... That's not a good advertising. So all I have to do is just explore this place. All right, so uh, can I whack anything in here? No, I can't. Oh, hello. 
He's a shiny object. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or are in dangerous places. Okay. So, just a collect-a-thon like people keep saying. But I don't mind the collect-a-thon games. It's just... Too pretty. Can't take it. Mindless interaction is my jam. Though more interactivity would be uh, my jam too. Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. How did a note of his get here? Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Either they didn't have the original voice actor or, um... Or he's just a little bit too old. So I have a bit of an interesting relationship with the SpongeBob SquarePants series. Uh, when I was in Canada, it became my jam. And, um... When I came back to Australia, it was the one thing that helped me get everyone to know me. Because I went to my first, uh, see, uh, see how well he's doing by pressing the right trigger. Okay. Uh, right trigger. So that's lives, that's spatulas, the golden spatulas, and that's shiny objects. And that's socks for some reason, I don't know what the socks do. Yeah, so, um... When I came back to Australia, I was in, uh, grade five, and... I make myself a snack, but there's no time! Yeah, yeah. So, I went to my, uh, my first ever, uh, school camp, really, and, um, we had this, uh, talent night, and because I didn't know really much, because we did either Australian Idol or, uh, Skid House, which was popular then, um... I decided, as a last-minute, uh, entry, to, uh, sing the Spongebob Squarepants theme with a bunch of friends. And then everybody knew who I was. In fact, they decided to, uh, chase me around the place. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, that's my, uh, effect of it. It's interesting. If I had not sung ah, that, there was no like one would have known who I was. They would just neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. Okay. But I think we have to start whacking stuff. Like that. I wonder if this also has a combo system. I love opening presents. Alright, so in order to get through here, we need to have five. That stuff is free. Can I run? I can creep. Looks like this is my only running. Oh well, let's talk to Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. 
I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. I really need to compare this with um, the original SpongeBob SquarePants battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, that looks like, is that TNT or something? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it does have combos. Oh. I'm guessing I need the sponge bowl or something like that, because this is gonna be one of those boxes that disappear when you get near it, and you need ranged attack. Kinda like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie piece. I definitely remember that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to destroy. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Oh, thanks. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! Just like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. So like that. Although I probably should have done that for this. I may have screwed myself over. Oh well. Let's try some, uh, jumping. Looks like this is the, uh, the limits of where I can go. What the hell was that? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Why are your pants down? There you go. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole uh... sock collection. I could use some Fix. help getting them back. Please. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. What about a golden spatula? You mean spatula? Bless you. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. So, we're collecting socks for him. Okay, I am perfectly fine with that. Okay, so that's a ten. Gotta do this. That is a Viking helmet if I have ever seen one. Uh, this does nothing. To activate this button, okay. It shines! Uh. Oh, can I reach it? I can reach it. What does it do? Oh, that's not good. So how do I reach that? Let's see what this button does. Oh, it's got a slam. Okay. Oh no. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. All right. Well, that's Fresh activated like all the time now. Breeze. I'm gonna try and time this so it goes up. Okay. There we go. I should be able to reach it. Okay, this. Oh, the shadow. Okay. Yay! Got a spatula. Alright, cool. Uh, how many do I have now? Just two. Uh, I don't suppose I can go into Squidward's house, can I? I can! First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? It probably could. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and- Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Well, it involved a portion of us Squidward, in the, I don't know uh, what the other do. version. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. It never <laughs> did that before. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I love opening presents. 
I'm pretty sure it doesn't want us to- I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Is he gonna comment on us destroying his other's handsome Squidward, of course? That's fun. All of this is drawn in. That is very weird to look at. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? I can't guarantee that, but okay. See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Ah! Now, will it, will it eject us? No, it won't. Okay. Hey, give him a mustache. And talk hey, to him Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? <laughs> Didn't I pay you to go away? Oh. Okay. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Interesting. That makes me think that there is something in our house that, although it might not actually do anything. I'm gonna check out my, I'm gonna check out our house for just a f minute or two. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Oh, I forgot about this way. Hey, I recognize that one. That wasn't actually him in the episode. Okay, so there's a bed. Can I jump on the bed? Was there a dive? Was there always a diving board here? I forget. This pair of SpongeBob's underwear was a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or services. So, oh wait, we don't have lives. We just have hit points. Okay. But there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Okay. Fresh like a spring breeze. Can't destroy that. What's this? Change room. This is where I keep all my old comic books. It shines. Okay. Hi. Mega combo. I wonder if I should have kept those. Before I start pressing, well, before I start smashing these, let's press buttons. Uh-huh. Okay. Now what about this? All right, so that's on the floor. So what about this? Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Interesting. What happens if I jump on this? Okay. Ah, uh, Timed. Oh, shoot. Okay, how do I get there? How do I get there? How do I get there? How do this I get there? This is where I keep all my old comic books. Crap. Help me. I'm not gonna make it. Come on. There we go. Gotta make it. Gotta make it. Gotta make Another the sock. Is there anything in the center? No, that was it. Okay. Time for tutorial. I got an achievement. Alright. That. And that. And then this. And that's it. I suppose. Let's try heading to a new area. What have I got? I've got three. Can't really go anywhere with three. Except this place. Jellyfish Fields. Oh. Thank you. Everything's very quick. Ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw. And sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Yeah, those stings will get you. Okay. You know, that's what I really loved about the voice actor for Squidward. His screams are brilliant. Well, bye. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. Wow. And you look clammy and oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> 
That is the face of your savior. I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Thanks. Okay. There we go. All right, let's explore jellyfish fields. Yay. Oh, robot. Die, robot. You've just met the Sponginator. Is there anything up there that I missed? That no, doesn't appear to be. Oh. Cha -ching! Nearly missed that. Okay. Hello? Oh, bye. What do you say? This is goo. Yeah. Because we're already in the water. It has to be goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Maybe I get a character that will, uh, let me. Wow, they just disappear like that. I thought they would give me something for it. It doesn't matter too much. can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Okay, I can't grab that because I'm all good. What if I touch this? Thank you. Now I get to grab this. I feel like a new sponge. Yay. Oh, that's just health. Okay. Slimy time. Whoa. Oh, he's got bubble feet. I like that. Let's destroy these enemies first. Bye. Bye. You go. You go. You go. Oh, I don't want to destroy all of them just yet. How did they stay like that? That is amazing. Okay, that. That. Ugh, the shadow is not good. No. Uh, that didn't take away everything, did it? No, apparently not. No, nope, no, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, just gotta collect everything again, and, um... Well, not everything, because the spare ones are the ones I clicked. Let's, um... Speed this up a bit. Ooh. I don't think I was supposed to reach it that way. I'm glad I did now. Bye. All these heads must die. Super Mega Combo. Monster, Super Monster. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Okay. Just... Whoa. I didn't know that was going to happen. What the f... I can fast travel? That is amazing. Uh, just give me one second because the room's starting to smell quite musty. I need to turn something on. I'm not sure I was supposed to do that. Oh, well, at least I appear here. Whoa! I'm not sure physics is... Ugh, I'm not sure physics is supposed to work like that. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to have, like, some sort of bungee cord in order to, uh, get those things. So for now, we're gonna have to move back the other way. I love the SpongeBob SquarePants games. Especially when it has exploration like this. I get people don't like, some people don't like the whole, like, collect -a -thon aspect in games like this, but I love it. Maybe that says something about me as a gamer. Probably something a little bit bad or boring. Eh, hey, what the hell? Thanks, low flying plane. Checkpoint. I can jump on this one. Uh, I, I wanted to do this. There we go. That's that's a bottle. That is straight up a bottle. Bye. No. Ow. Screw you. Okay. This. A little bit of this. That little hidden thing. What's that? Oh, it's just a barrel. Ooh, there's some at the back here. Is there anything? Nope. Okay. Bye. 
Yay, some combo. A nice block that I probably can't use on you, Patrick, won't I? This is Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick can use the Freezy Fruit. Yeah, of course. Just like the, uh, well, I'm guessing that the SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game came out after Battle for Bikini Bottom, so it takes a lot of influence. A lot of its abilities and, uh, collectible influence from this. Well, not this, but the original version of this. I feel like I'm gonna miss out a lot. Need, like, a glide ability. What does this do? Yay? Okay. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Nice. The only thing I wish I could do is I wish I could run a little faster than this. But I guess this is just normal speed. Oh, and the camera, please, work with me here. Okay, careful of wrong cue. Okay, there we go. All right, just gotta, all right. Just gotta it get it. Shines. Okay, just gotta be careful. I'm fine here. Just gonna run away. Okay, can I whack this? I can whack it. Nice. Hey, Gary, what's shaking? Uh, Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. Animation's not bad. Though I haven't watched the, uh, or played the other ones, so I wouldn't know. I don't have the comparison. Maybe one day I will. Why? Okay, so King Jellyfish is that way. But first, I want to do the bungee jump. If I can defeat the King Jellyfish in this episode, then I'll stop. Uh-huh. Gonna grab the other one. Grab that one. And there we go. I'm sorry if I went a little bit too close. Okay, so now all that's left to do is to head our way the king jellyfish. Okay, what happens if we whack this? I said, what happens if we whack it? There we go. Okay. Another edge of the uh, the map that I can't jump across. Okay. Die. Thank you. Checkpoint. Oh, there's more. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. Ah. Don't do that to the fish. Um, this may have to be a two-parter. You know what? I'm actually going to stop here. All right, this is actually going to be a fun game for me because I love games like this. So in the next episode, we are going to be continuing through Jellyfish Fields defeating all of the enemies in our way, collecting more things, and trying to defeat the King Jellyfish. Hopefully that goes well. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist, assuming something turns up, or one of the recommended that pops up below it. I'm the Average Rook, see you soon, and more average content coming your way.